Well, hello, friends, neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome down the neck. It's Saturday, so I want to do a review with you. And I think, well, we will look at a couple of Highland single malts. So what I have today is the entrance to Tomatin's core range, the 12 year old. And then we'll look at the 14 year old port cask finish. So, uh, you know, we'll talk a bit more when we come back from the break, but if you have any Highland Scotch, even better, uh, the Tomatin 12 or the 14. When you pour a little dram, when we come back, you know, we'll know as we'll taste and we'll talk these two single malts and give our thoughts. Three, four. Thanks for coming back. As I said in the opener, you know, I want to talk about uh, Tomatin and I'm not sure if I said it or not, but this is a fairly affordable core range in my market. This bottle here is Tomatin 12 year old and it's a combination of bourbon and sherry. I've seen it written that it's like a third uh, ex bourbon, like reused, a third first fill and a third first fill sherry, but I can't confirm that. When I look at the bottle here, it clearly says 43% and does highlight that casking. And as I was saying here, oh, but in terms of coloring, there's nothing on this and I can't tell. I just assume filtered and colored unless they're very clear on their packaging. So I'm gonna think it's colored and filtered. I'll let you know that this used to sit on the shelf in my market regularly for about $38 Canadian, but dipped down to 35 on sale. It was ridiculously affordable. That was a few years ago. And at that time, I wasn't a fan of Tomatin. I, I even remember giving away a bottle because I didn't think I was gonna finish it. But I've had this open for a, a couple of days, really, just to get a dram on it because I really wanna talk about the 14 that I have had open for a while. So we'll start with the 12 and then we'll share about the 14. So nose on Tomatin 12. I get lots of sweetness, honey, orchard fruit, I get a, a multi that's to me a, like a graham cracker or cereal. Back into sweetness. Uh, sweetness like um, quite fruity, fruit cup type syrup sweetness. I find the nose nice. The nose nice. 43%. It's quite good. Let's try it on the palate. Slancha. Some of that fruiting continues. It settles a bit more into um, a ripe apple or ripe pear. Not a lot of freshness in the palate. A little bit of spicing comes in, just mild, just a little peppering, but it feels a bit like it's a youthful peppering. And there is a bit of ethanol play in the mouth or a slight bitterness that I do get on the 12 year old expression. Try another quick sip. It's not bad. I struggle with um, really liking it. It settles into average. The nose is good. It's still very affordable in my market. And it's not bad. But it becomes a bit of a background dram, a general dram. Uh, even though it's got an age stamp and it's at 43, it's not as exciting as some other scotches that are now playing in its price range. Because I got this on sale for 50 Canadian, which felt like a good deal in today's market. But back when it was 35 bucks, it was a steal. For me, this Tomatin is okay, but it's really about a three and a half star dram, which is kind of too bad because it is quite affordable and it's got a lot going for it. It just doesn't seem to perk up for my palate. So I actually recently bought this bottle so I could talk about this bottle. I've had this Tomatin 14 uh, open for definitely a few months. I actually picked it up on a, a small Christmas or winter retreat uh, with my family just to have something to sip in the mountains. This is released at 46%. It's matured in ex bourbon and then finished in port cast. I don't know for how long, um, but you know, typically finishes are more that six months sort of around there. I should have looked that up. But I like that it's released at 46. Sadly, I don't know 
if it is filtered or colored. And again, if they don't say it proudly, I assume it's filtered and colored. So these are some thoughts on Tomatin 14 port cask finish. This is a much richer nose. It's got uh, lots of, of rich dark berries. It's already in the nose, got some chocolates or espresso notes, kind of putting it together. I would even say it's it's like a little cocoa, a little creamy. It's tough to describe a creamy nose. Well, this isn't bad. Nice, bright, cut orchard fruit. This is richer, more intriguing, darker, leathered. Well, leathered is not the nose. Well, no, I'm not going to cut go leather, but I was trying to get into like what are some stewed and cooked fruits going on with some of that chocolating or spicing or mulling, those kinds of things. Let's try it on the palate. Sancha. It's a much richer dram for me. A lot of that spicing, richer, mellower fruits, riper fruits and with I don't want to overplay the chocolate it's not a it's not a it's not as heavy as that but but that kind of cocoa creamy um, hot chocolate with milk type thing that's why I keep saying creamy I don't know why but I like the fruiting on this I like the richness of this uh, it it is a very tasty dram. In fact, it was absolutely the 14 that made me rebuy a bottle of this, which I haven't for three or four years, like a really long time because I have in my notes that I don't really like this 12. Now it's kind of okay. But this 14 is a remarkable step up from this 12. It's not just the 12 and a little more age. The way they've handled the port finish is is quite nice and really matches this Highland Dram character and I definitely like this. So here I'm like, oh, it's average three and a half. This Tomatin 14 for my palate really is quite good. I would give it four and a quarter, which is a pretty high rating lately. I haven't jumped up much, but this is a good Dram and I was fortunate to find it on a sale as I am a bargain hunter, but even not on a sale, uh, if you're looking for a, a fairly classy, nice port finished Dram, I would consider this. I, I, I genuinely like it. Now, I wish at 46% it clearly was natural colored non shell filtered, and it might be. I just don't have insight on that, so I can't say that for sure. But there's lots of people that tune in that have much better insight into distilleries or other markets that force, like Germany, whether it has uh, coloring or not. So please let me know. If this is natural non-color, it'll just feel better that I like it as much as I do. Thanks for joining me here today. I hope your Saturday is going well. Uh, and, I, and I do hope the work week ahead is great. If you've got any suggestions, I've got a lot of bottles I haven't talked about, but I realize I love ideas and suggestions from the community. So if there's something that you think would be a great idea for me to talk through and you'd like to sip along to, why don't you share it? Thanks for joining me. You guys have a great day.